<coughs> Started out like that. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of GLW Perimeter. I'm Weekly Zeth, and to my right, I'm Wayano. To my left, I'm Ghost Blade. And this week, we got a bunch of news of animes, um, some gaming news, a lot more than normal. The most anticipated movie for me this year. Yeah. Um, anything you guys want to start Wait, on? Which one? Godzilla. Oh, yeah. The, that was your most inti- of the entire year. I don't give year. a fuck about the rest of the movies. Really? Yeah. Mortal Kombat's all him, and what was the other one? Space Jam. Space Jam. Oh, yeah, we got the trailer for that. Today. Yeah, we got the trailer. So, Anything you guys want to jump into first? Uh, oh, yeah, and the episode's called Tacky Tacky, episode 17. Uh, I, I would say we could go ahead and talk about Marvel and get it out of the way. All right. I want to say right now, the only good thing about the episode was the guy who spit in the new Captain America's face. He was my hero. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Do you really hate him that much? He's a douche. As soon as he got spit, he was like, you know who I am. Yeah, Say no my name. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things that no one cares. Yeah. You the cheap Walmart knockoff brand. <laughs> you mean the great value brand? Yeah, the great value brand. Mm. <laughs> um, basically, got to see a lot more Zemo. Like him actually in action. He, yeah. He kind of was the focus of the episode, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was literally the whole focus of the episode. Without him, none of that would have happened. I feel like the blonde chick was the whole thing. Sharon? Yeah, that's her name. I really don't remember. She was a part of it because she was there when Zemo did his whole thing, but it was it it was mostly aimed yeah, towards reason, Zemo. You don't remember Civil War much, do you? All I remember about Civil War was <laughs> the the whole lineup fight, the Spider Man talk, um and the blonde chick, I guess Sarah tongue punching Captain America. Which is apparently his uncle or her uncle? No, 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 no. They're not related. She, she's real, she's the niece of Peggy, who was Steve's first love from the first first Avenger movie. Okay. Yeah. And the reason why she ended up there is because she helped Cap and the others, you know, break the law and shit. And they and she she put herself there on on purpose, so that they wouldn't like, they wouldn't hurt her family or anything. So yeah, that's that's her story, and for five, five to six years, I mean, she did fucking amazing for in that island. My God. Yeah. yeah. All this stuff that she did this episode was crazy. But then, we also got to get to see like the underworld of High Rise. I think that's what they were calling the city. They called the city like two different things. Mm, high, I think High Rise is just like a, a status. For somebody, uh, the island was called uh, Mardi Mardi Poor. Yeah, yeah, something like that. That whole thing was actually pretty cool to see. And then uh, the only thing a buddy of mine took away from that whole episode was uh, Zemo's awkward dancing. Yeah, it was pretty awkward. What did you think of uh, Sam having to do that shot with the uh, snake's like stomach or whatever it was? I mean. I get that's a weird thing, but it's pretty common now. Cause like, isn't there like a drink out there where you can, they kill a snake, you drink its blood, and then you can eat the snake? Probably. Yeah, I kind of swear I saw a video on that a while ago. Yeah, as long as it's not poisonous, or you get the venom out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of. That's called flavor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll put that in your tombstone. Oh, it has flavor. <laughs> your love is weekly's death. He wanted the flavor, the spicy. He had too much spice in his life. Uh, um, the the one underground girl, something that starts with an H, not H S. Um, she was very short lived. Yeah. Who's oh uh, Sel- Selby? Yeah. I was kind of expecting it, but at the same time, I was kind of like, maybe whatever the deal was going to be was actually going to happen. It was fast how they already got a bounty on their head. Like, 
Like, bam. Oh, uh, yeah. It's that like was like Beastmaster's really Master's bounty, whoever kills them, all right, go to it. I kind of got like a purge vibe from that whole island, to tell you the truth. It was like, eh, they're that's, dead. That's what that island is. It's an, a lawless island yeah. where anything happens. Yeah. I was surprised with um, Zemo's connections. Like of, connections. Of how he has a private jet or how he knows these people or how he's apparently rich. Like that was like those were like traits that he never showed in Civil War. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> yeah, I don't. I think that was just more of like announcing like where their funding is going to come from for like future episodes because there's no way they're going to get funded by the U.S. anymore. Uh, the U.S. is completely in the background at this point. Pretty much, this is off the books. <laughs> Yeah. Anything else, or I have nothing else besides uh, a buddy of mine thinks Sarah is apparently like the main villain in this. Cause that last scene. Sarah. Yeah. The last scene with the car. Oh, the Flag Smashers. That that's what they're called. The Flag Smashers. Oh, I guess. <laughs> no, no, not 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 the not the Flag Smashers. The the scene where. She met up with like some other girl and she put helped her get inside like a car. And oh, Sharon. Yeah, Sharon. You say Sarah? <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. I don't remember these girls' names. <coughs> he said your buddy says she. He thinks she's the villain. Yeah. No. I dude, this like showed Zemo all the way. Like we're actually getting to see how Zemo becomes who he is that we know he is. Yeah. Let me ask you something, Lionel. Does. Sam ever become a super soldier in the comics? No, he stays as a falcon, and then he just... Well, is he a falcon with super soldier serum? No. No? Okay. Because I feel like that's where it was getting to. Like, I feel like by the end, like, by the end he would have to take the serum somehow mm-hmm. and become a super soldier. And then that's when he becomes Captain America. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be complaining about that. <laughs> yeah, like, with the live action, I really wouldn't put it past him if they were to go that route. Because they can do what they want. Exactly, because it's not completely canon to the comics, but it is there. Yeah. So, that would definitely be one of those interesting things to see eventually Mm -hmm. and see what happens. Yep. Uh, Anything else on the episode? The uh, Wakandan came up. I guess the the abbreviation, what you call them. Yeah, right there at the end. Yeah. Yep. They heard the news, Zemo's out. Oh, you <laughs> motherfucker. I'm getting this bitch. You think if uh, the actor who plays King, King T'Challa would actually do that bit instead of, like, the actual warrior? Probably. Because he would have been the most connected to Zemo. Yeah. Because <laughs> he killed his father. You killed my father. I am there your you father. Go. So, what's up? Serious power, Russell Butler is definitely the main villain. I say they're setting up Zemo for part of the Thunderbolts. Well, then, I got what you complained to me about, I think it was yesterday, up here. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Yeah. But still is better pace than one division. I'm saying that since I know my buddy's watching and he's just throwing his phone. <laughs> no, honestly and truly, this is a lot better pace than WandaVision because WandaVision started out really slow and sluggish. Ooh, color. That, that's all it was, just like yeah. the eventual color. And then with this, it started off fast, strong. And it's still going strong. So, yeah. We'll see what happens as it progresses through. But that was really it on this episode for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it was setting up a few things. We got Zemo out to where he's actually going to be a part of the whole thing now. And then that was really about it. Yeah. So. I don't know about y'all. I'm good. Ghost? So, got anything to add to, to it? No. Nope. Uh, nope. We well go to anime. Yeah, anime might as well save for the movies for last. The one film that we watched. Yeah. <laughs> the The film of the year, damn it. Not for you. Oh, I, it was a film of the year, but I don't think it's going to be the film of the year. No, nah, we still got time for that. But for you, your film of the year is going to be Mortal Kombat. Hell yeah. Yeah. First game ever to actually get me into gaming. Yeah. 
I, I can I can see the the next movie watch party you're going to do. You're going to show up dressed up as like either Sub Zero, Scorpion, Ermac. I would have to get a whole new Sub Zero outfit because I'm pretty sure my old one doesn't fit anymore. <laughs> Call yourself a cosplayer. Hey hey hey! hey. <laughs> I've been putting money into my car here lately. <laughs> um. You guys want to catch up on the the two shows y'all didn't watch last week? Yeah, we watched both of those last night, and then we watched episode five of the other one today on our own. Yeah. Because I watched it at work. You guys want to start with, uh, fuck, I can never say either one of these names. Galero? Fiener? Furry one. Yeah, we could start with that one. Furry one. That's ba- I cannot say the <laughs> title of his name. Like, what the fuck is this? I know we talked about it. It was like some angry German word. Yeah. So I'm just going to call it that. <laughs> Still is a good show, but... um, It's a... Uh, is it? I don't know. I've kind of been losing kind of interest on it, to be honest. Really? Yeah, I don't... I, I don't know. I feel like I kind of... I don't want to say the story's all over the place, but... I kind of thought it was, to, like, today, because, like, I, I get the anime is kind of, like, over, and we're doing it, like, weekly, but, like, whenever I clicked on the news... Well, it's not that it's just, it's just that nothing about it so far is really, like, hooking me to it. Really? Yeah. This recent fight had me a little bit more hooked on the than the other ones. And episode five, it had me a little bit more hooked. I don't know what to say about it. I just, I, I'm just <laughs> losing interest in it, to be honest. I... <laughs> I don't know. I've been hooked ever since the first fight. I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. This yeah, the first fight was great, but <sighs> what? I, I like you I said, I, like, you <laughs> something. I like I said, I have nothing. I don't know what to say about it. I'm just, I, I just, I don't know what to talk about it. I guess I don't, I can't really find anything interesting about it for me. Okay, you got anything? I kind of like episode it. four. It was just kind of, it seemed like it was just information, because after her sister ripped off the head, yeah. it was get them back together, try to find some more information about the coins, exactly what they're for, this, that, and the other, we got that information. That was the only thing that caught me off guard was the alien turned into her. The naked version of her? Basically. And you were like, I like this vessel. <laughs> you got boobies. <laughs> I, I was laughing so hard. I was just like, oh my God. Because it was, it was just random. It was like, okay. At first, he was trying to touch her. She was like, no. If I can't touch her, I'll I'll just make her myself and then touch all around. And now we got demonetized on YouTube. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> but that's basically what it, that episode was. It was just information <sighs> and then the awkwardness of an alien. Like, oh, yeah, I'm an alien and, you know, this is this. And then... That's probably the only thing I can remember. If I can't um, touch you, then I'm going to touch myself as you. Demonetized. <laughs> That's probably the only thing I can remember his story about him coming from a different... Him and his brethren, who apparently, if I remember correctly, all those coins are his brethren. Yep. Brethren and friends. Yeah, and like they all just... Just because of... Um, they can shapeshift. Yeah, and they just... And that, you know, he needs to get them back because he wants to save them all. And apparently if you collect a hunter, something interesting will happen. Yeah, it's like something so powerful because in episode 15, we get a little bit more information about it to where it's like if you collect all 100, it's like you become this practically a god is the way it was sounding. Yeah. <clears throat> because... As they're looking for coins, we were about to get a fight at the very beginning between two other people because uh, she wandered off into his their turf, which I'm guessing is like a gang. And then um, when he sensed somebody, it wasn't them, but it was a guy that was basically like, the only way I was ever able to test my strength was against humans. I did this, so I could test my strength even further beyond that. And yeah. then I was not understanding that the do do whatsoever. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward thing. Yeah, it's straightforward, but like, oh my god, it's it's like, what the fuck do you want? 
I know you want to test your strength and how, how you want to know how strong you really are, but shit, his his actions uh, just sometimes just doesn't make sense. <laughs> I mean, he, he says they are. Yeah, well, like he didn't make much sense. He did. He and then how it. he's now suddenly their ally just because of their fight. Yeah. Well, he they, kind of outsmarted them, or he, they outsmarted him. They beat him in the fight. He yeah, finally but I lost feel like, his first fight. I feel like he still could have won. or He could have, but like he learned broad strength is not the only way to win a fight. Which was basically all he was doing. Yeah. So he got his first loss, and then he befriended the people he lost to so he could learn. No, yeah. I, I, I'm so, I'm so disconnected from it. I, <laughs> I say give it time. I, if we're hooked, it will hook you. It's like if we're trying to get you into like some other animes, like Darling the Franz. He won't watch it. It's a mech. Yeah, we know. <clears throat> Cause like I found a mech on HBO that I'm thinking about watching. Cause I'm just it's not, pretty I'm, short. I'm just not <coughs> into that many mechs. Like it, they really have to hook me to be really into it. Yeah. Darling the Franks, I would say if I had to compare it to some, but something, I would probably say Kill a Kill. Yeah. Almost in a mixture of, I kill guess, Backer. Kill a Kill That's it. Yeah, like Backer and Kill a Kill. Yeah. That's basically how it feels. Well, Backer has been working because of the of the characters and the, the mystery of, like, what's behind the wall. Back into the situation of, like, what is really behind the wall. Be beyond the walls. Yeah, with Darwin and the Franks, it's basically trying to fight for Kill survival. Kill the monsters because they're different. Yeah. It's like... It, it, at that point, you might as well just keep watching Pacific Rim at that point. So. <laughs> it, it's basically a different version of Pacific Rim, but instead of having I say give two it a people, try. Don't knock it off, but give it a try. At least watch the first two. Yeah. And you can basically go from there. I don't know. That, that depends on YouTube. On <laughs> right. VRV. Well, you don't get it. YouTube is like, it's like my my, my biggest weakness. <laughs> I'm a hard procrastinator on YouTube. You have no idea. I just I mean, watch video. I, that. I feel I watch video after video after video. Even if I don't have anything to watch, I just keep watching videos just for the fuck of it. Just to see what the hell I find. I get that. But since uh and uh we'll we'll go over back or a minute. What what was the other one? Uh Chimongo Kimono Kimono G G Jihan? Yeah. Jihan, yeah. Um Essentially all this was for me was announce the new vampire character. I was bored with that cat episode. Whatever the hell deal with the cat and the Oh, guy. the love thing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that one was pretty boring. I mean, all that showed was just... Um, um, shit. It wasn't really memorable. It was just like, okay. I think the only thing good about it, wasn't that the same one where um, um, the boy girl... And the, the girl is that what you're calling? <laughs> I I really tried my jamness to remember his name. I know it starts with an A. I want to say Akimo, but I could be wrong. Of like him showing off his ice powers in the uh, the sewer. Don't worry, I still refuse to identify him as a male anywhere. <laughs> I still refuse. There's just no way. There's no fucking way. This is still a dude. <laughs> I swear to God, if I look, if we look up the fucking female or the act, the uh, one who's voicing it, it's gonna be. I mean, I'm not gonna say that just because it's a female actor it should be a girl because there's been plenty. No, of, you got stuff like Goku. I know. I was about to say that there's been plenty of other male, uh, male, m different male actors voicing different male characters. So I can't really base it on that, but like. It was based on off appearance and how. And how, he, and how he acts, yes, of course. It, it also doesn't really help. I know you don't watch the intros, but the intro, like, really pushes it towards, like, oh, oh I watch the intro. Oh, how he's always taking selfies and always cutesy st stuff. Gay? The monitor? Well, right now, he is gay for uh, Kivame, the main, the main kid. He's gay for him. Nah, him. Yeah, he is. 
M in the. Uh, I mean, he's, he's already calling him master. master. <laughs> <laughs> M in the uh, Fox Girl. That, that's the second episode you guys. Well, that was technically this week's episode. She's cute. <coughs> So innocent. I thought, I thought that, that fight was very short. short. It was a little short, but it was, it w- it was good for what it was. Yeah. Um, fights don't need to be long, just as long as they get to the fucking point. No, we need three-hour fights like Dragon Ball did. No, we do not need another you, you fifty-five mean, plus episode of fucking Goku and Frieza. You, you mean you mean the the so-called turn of power, which was state of fight as forty-eight fucking minutes. But we expanded like like, f- like sixty plus episodes. <laughs> yeah, I actually watched a video of like somebody doing like a huge cut of it, like putting all this shit together. Yeah, like they, the they entire actually got it to like, like forty eight minutes, and they put like fucking all these ten different angles on it mm-hmm. from like all the side times and shit. I saw that too. I say watch it. It's a good hour to kill, but <laughs> yeah, only an hour. That's basically what the tournament <laughs> was. <laughs> What the, the fuck, fuck did we, we just do with Justice, Justice League? Just stay there for four hours. Oh, and you can't... If, if we, we can, can handle that, that, you can handle this fucking thing. Oh yeah, God. come on. You've watched Avatar at least one time. <laughs> Which one? Well, it's not, it's not Airbender. It's just not fucking that one. I know They're that They're both bad. <laughs> what are you talking about? The blue people. They're, They're both bad, bad. dude. Avatar is still the number one film on it's the market. It's still the number one, but it's still bad to me. That was a one-time watch, and I watched that out of a pity date. And I was like, uh, Oh, that sucks for you? Can I help you, dog? Yeah, well, it's like, besides introducing the cat fox-looking girl. Cat fox? Whatever she is. He yelled at me last week about that. It's just a fox girl. Why can't we just get that through our heads? Because we watch enough anime that we know cat girls are like <laughs> more popular. Yes, but I don't know if cat girls are definitely wolf girls. Well, I don't know if you realize, but fox girls have been rising up <laughs> here lately. And wolf girls. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, it's like besides introducing her, we get to see the vampire person. He sends him on a secret mission. <sighs> he's boring. He's just a dick, but he's boring to me. Yeah. That's why I was kind of getting also. It, it's still a good anime, though. Yeah, I like it. But, yeah, that was really it for that one, to be honest. Now we're caught up. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do better. Just don't get the stick, I promise. I promise, Daddy. Don't get the <laughs> stick. Um, you guys want to get Bart out of the way? That, to me, that was like kind of a backstory. It was kind of like... I thought that was a good backstory. Just plain, simple, no no extra added shit that needs is convoluted. Just plain and simple. Yeah, but it, it like to I me it felt like a little played out to tell you the truth. Why? What, what else do you expect from a abusive father who's always drunk? What, what else do you expect? That's what I mean. I feel like that backstory is like overplayed out right now. Not with not no, not with Naruto. Not with Naruto, absolutely. But, like, you, you see a dad in a bottle, you automatically assume he's a drunk. He's going to get abused. That's how he's so pissed off at the world. I didn't immediately I didn't immediately thought he was an abuser from those other flashbacks, but that's what we got in the story, yes, of course. The only thing I was, like, shocked about was, like, the dad was a shinobi who fought in the Great War. Yeah, man, most of, most of the ninja were yeah. during those times. What caught me by surprise was that fucking goldfish <laughs> seller at the, at the end. Oh, oh yeah. was a slave. You gonna, you're a trafficker, aren't you? Man, I was going to do that. <laughs> what? I called dibs. <laughs> well, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> called dibs. <laughs> Am I wrong? That's basically what he did. He was like, hey, back off. I called dibs on this one. Basically. Oh, man. Um... Yeah, I don't really have anything mad, so it's just like, eh. Typical backstory to me. Uh, it, it it was a good backstory. I'm not saying it's bad, absolutely not. It's just like, eh. Yeah, it was kind of random, though. Random for a character that we know so little about. Okay. 
You say random, but this just gives more characterization to the character we know so little about. Yeah. Especially if now Naruto is supposedly going to adopt him. He has the son he always wanted. Shut up. <laughs> I was really expecting that from him, not you. Well, y'all were playing the steering contest, so I just said it. <laughs> um, you guys got anything for that? No, it was a simple backstory. We got a little bit more on the character. I kind of want to see that goldfish show. What goldfish? The goldfish show. The one with the, the, the flyer. There. That's how he's going to trap him. Maybe, but still. Still would have been a good little twist. Hey, joke's on you. I wasn't going to kidnap you. Enjoy the show, fucker. You never know. Yeah. Fuck, come on. What? <laughs> no, my my shit not working. Um. Well, if that's all, if that's all the moving on, okay. That, that's what I'm doing. Mhm. Calm yourself, baby girl. I got this. Do okay. you? It's okay, boo boo. It's okay, boo boo. Hey, yo, boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I got. How you guys feel about going into skate? Oh my god! Final episode. Season is over. Well, series. Season. I don't fucking know. I would say season until they actually say you no. Know, that was the full series. Basically, give it like a couple of years, honestly. A couple well, years. Well, I mean, you got the fucking pandemic and shit. Yeah, and they were able to produce something like this. Yeah, yeah but, but like they they still have to. Write it up, draw it up, and then act it out. And then I I personally wouldn't watch this again in dub. I know they're doing dub uh, right now. I don't know where they're at because fuck, I should know. But I, I'm going to watch again in dub. I like this episode, the the final episode. Yeah, uh, I guess we could start with uh, Adam's outfit design. He looked fucking awesome. He did. Still went on with about love, but <laughs> I, I loved his new outfit. It was awesome. His new board was awesome. Coffin I think it turns into a cross. Yeah, I, I liked the board more than I liked anything else out of it. <coughs> the board definitely caught more of my eye out of it. Oh, really? His the outfit was awesome because it kind of fit the scene. Yeah. But like the way the board was overall designed was very well done too. Yeah. <coughs> Ghost? Kind of quiet, quiet there. Yeah. Yeah. You looking to see if they're going to add in another season? Yeah. I mean, in my opinion, it's a little bit too early for them to announce anything on that. Well, I'm making. I'm just. I'm just seeing like how far if the manga has gone far. Well, the manga's got advanced a little bit for like at least like two seasons ahead, I think. That's what I'm looking. If there even is such a thing. <laughs> Yeah, because, like, besides all, all that, like, the overall actual skate between them was actually... It started off strong with that music. It did. It started off really strong. It kept going until they both clashed. And then at that point, you kind of get to see Adam actually... In his world. Yeah, like, he actually comes back, and he's not worried about being the best. Yeah. Kind of thing, so... Now everybody knows what Adam actually looks like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I shouldn't really say this, but it's kind of obvious. Fucking Snow wins the race. Well, the beef. Well, yeah. But that's power of friendship. Well, besides the power of friendship, it was just... Because of plot, and we see this in any anime, a new person comes along... He takes their tradition. He does it better than them. And then he comes out on tops and becomes like the new champion, the new best one or oh, whatever. Wow. That's the first. What? The, the manga is coming second. The anime came first. Oh. And the manga is coming in. It's still going, actually. Haha. Take that, manga readers. That's crazy. Whoa. So... I think what they did was they did the anime first, and then yeah, the manga is the manga is the adaptation. <laughs> yeah, and then they're gonna let the manga get ahead 
and then they're going to probably make the second season That's after weird, that. Though. Well, I think it's easier to make a manga than it is with an anime, because it takes, like, what, a year or two? What, for an anime? Yeah. To animate each scene and get the colors in and stuff like that, yeah. And the voice, and, and the then, animation, then the and the music. With your music. And yeah. then all the background noises and stuff. Like, yeah, it... Editing takes a while, but we've gotten so to the point to where we can edit, I think we can edit a month in advance, still have it out by the time it's supposed to be out, and then keep the episodes coming. Yeah. I think what they, if I remember right, I think what they do is they do a a schedule like a movie. To where they film everything, they get all the noises or all the sounds that they want with the music and this and the other, and then as I think they get like six months until the they have to be done with the first episode, so they can actually premiere it when they want to, and then basic they'll have like multiple teams working on each episode, so they come out on the days that they're supposed to. Yep. But as long as they don't do another recap episode like what they did, (sighs) that was really uncalled for and annoying at this point it's i think really I, they usually do that even though it's annoying they usually do that to give themselves more time especially if the anime was first they probably need to give themselves more time to finish the rest yeah that's when they usually do that but the episode is good honestly the only annoying part is i know Recky and him are supposed to be, you know their best buds but i did a little annoyed how he was always constantly screaming for him. Longo? Yeah. Like some, like it, it kind of reminded me of this other character I can't think of the top of my head. Like, oh, we just screamed their name over and over again. I can't fucking think of it. Yeah. It was recent, though. Like, it was a recent thing, like a year or two ago. My God. Well. It was a meme for a while, too. I can't remember. Maybe you can find it. But. Yeah, but I don't know if it was from, like, a show or a, mo- a game or a movie. That's the thing. More than likely, it's it's a movie or something. Yeah. The only thing I think of a game is the train go boom meme. <laughs> it's definitely not that. <laughs> um. Yeah. You got anything else or no? I did I not like Shadow's ending. ending. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that was a heartbreak. <laughs> that, that was. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. My man Shadow got screwed. Oh, he, he worked so hard for the girl, and he just lost her, and she doesn't even know. She doesn't even know. But it was kind of almost leading to that point because he's like, I want to do it, but then he never does it. Yeah, but then he got the confidence to do it. He finally got it, and then he cried, and then he cried in his next beef. Because he waited too long. He needed the confidence, damn it. He had to wait till he got the power of friendship. He gave his power of friendship to Snow. <laughs> wait too long. My guy got his so beat up to protect her. Wait too damn long. Yes, I got my ass handed to me to finally gain the confidence to ask a woman up. The woman of his dreams, damn it. Pretty sure that's the only reason why he was working there. Yeah. It's like, even then, you should have enough confidence to ask her. Hey, man, what if he also just likes flowers? You don't know that. Yeah, you, you don't know him. Well, it's Japan, so. <laughs> yeah. I do feel like the uh, the red-haired uh, police chick was very underused. She was. I, I w- after they showed her and she started the investigation. I completely forgot who she was until this episode. Yeah, I was expecting them to use her she more She was just there as a constant reminder of the investigation that constantly was going on. I wouldn't say constant. But it was constant. It was reminded it was every constant, single she episode. Wasn't, she wasn't, like... Oh. It was reminded, but, like, if you're going to do an investigation, like, I would have liked to see her... Poke your nose in a bit more. Yeah. Because we didn't really get that at all in yeah. the rest of the season. <clears throat> But it seems like everyone got, like, their friends back. Because even uh, the kid got his friend back. Everyone was gay for each other at that point. Yeah. The mom knew it. 
<laughs> Sitting in a tree. F U C K I N G. You ever got about tail in a tree on this one? <laughs> Have you not seen that? That's one of the bridge series. No, I haven't watched pr- any you of the You son of a bitch. <laughs> you guys suck. Okay, I'm sorry that I don't live my life on YouTube like y'all do. Damn it, we'll, we'll post it on YouTube. YouTube. I mean, I mean if, if TV is dead, I mean, YouTube is already the next big thing, man. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't so watch like much of either one stick. unless I have to. Get the stick. We need the feeding stick. I don't need Jesus. <laughs> we'll call Jesus for you when we're beating. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, we'll call him from up there. You see that fucker down there, Jesus? Show him how it's done. <laughs> that motherfucker skips on a bridge series. <laughs> um, you guys, anything else on uh, Skate? No. Oh, I just ending. can't wait until season two comes up. Yeah. Back arrow? Yeah, we can do that one. Well, since you, we already talked about it a little bit. A little more like brought it up. Yeah, we brought it up. But yeah. this episode was actually really good. It was the start of part two. Ghost played. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Distracted, okay. Exactly why. I can see why you're distracted. <laughs> you, you can see. Holy shit, it's all mine. Our little doge. Little doggy dogs. <laughs> Running around. Uh, but yeah, the, this, this episode was the power of love prevailed, bitch. It really was. And then we got to see launch back again. Launch? Basically, I'm calling the princess. You're <laughs> calling her launch. Yeah, we are. She ain't the princess, though. She's launch. I knew it was a mistake. Like, it was cool seeing her in her bright hive, but I knew it was a mistake as soon as she even thought about her putting that thing on. I mean, yeah. Yeah. But she's got the cool black looking bracelet thingy. Yeah, but still, at the end of the day, we all knew she was going to fucking mess up and she was going to come out. Yeah, but now she's got two powers. She's got the power of love and power of fucking destruction and violence. What more do you want? Yeah, this is true. But then the the citizens get scared. Fuck them citizens. The citizens are the only the citizens are the only reason why she's even the doing this war. The citizens follow the princess because of her love, and that they love. The and princess, when she's love. not love right now. She's just a fucking monster with destructive <coughs> emotions. Yeah. And guess what? Emotions are love. Okay. Bam. Check and mate. Yeah. Okay. Nothing? Anywho. <laughs> well, well. You got anything against the power of love? No. Really, the only thing out of this episode that really caught my eye was when the uh, Emperor went through like eight rings in the air. Yeah, he put, yeah, he, he he put he, on he, a lot. He put on eight bind warpers. Yeah. And my god, he was strong. He was practically using the force at that point. He is the emperor. Yes. Destroying fucking monsters, and now their fucking plan was already obliterated. Yep. Oh my god. What is this guy? <laughs> yeah. The motherfucking emperor. Mm-hmm. The only other important thing I think I noticed out of this episode was uh, Back Arrow and uh, Pixis. I think that's her name. Prax. Prax, yeah. Uh, they both took the, um, the main... The main, I want to say bad guy, but I could be wrong. And Kai? Kai? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, him and his protege, basically. <clears throat> to the, Shoe. Is it Shoe? Yes. Okay, yeah. mister, I don't like mechs. No, Shoe's the uh, guy with the white hair. That's right. What is the name? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, they, they now know that there's stuff in the sky. Yeah, but they don't give a shit. They yeah. get, they keep blaming them. I was like, oh, this is your trap, huh? Yeah. yeah. Why would you? You see something you've never seen before in enemy territory? Of course. Yeah, but like I said, like they just don't give a shit, or they don't want to hear. They're they're complete in the now that there's something beyond the walls. Yeah. Like Becker will keep saying. Yeah, and then we, uh, when Becker was trying to fight, we kind of got to see his injury uh, affect his. Him and it, the, his mech. Mm-hmm. And this also. You got laser hand now. 
They got healed. <laughs> <clears throat> Over time, but it needed the power of love. Yes. As in every anime. Hey, man, don't you dare knock on love. Love is power. Friendship oh. is more power. Shrek is love. That's all I can think of now. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm going to be thinking about that fucking anime all day. <laughs> Not anime, that little stupid meme <laughs> of fucking Shrek. Um, yeah. I don't have anything else, though. The new uh, it, this intro one was just mostly cool. fighting. The intro was pretty good. I, did you even watch the intro since he skipped stuff? No, we I went back it. and rewatched it. Okay, good. I'm proud of you. You. Um, I don't know what is it about you getting bothered about intros. My God. Getting your reactions just make my day. <laughs> Anything gets your fucking day. With both of us. My God. <laughs> uh, you guys got anything else or no? No. No, it, this one was just mostly fighting besides a few design stuff. Yeah. Uh, my hero, Academia. Second it's starting episode. slow. Really? What do you expect from a fucking season premiere? Holy what? shit. Jesus Christ, dude. Why do you need everything to be action-packed right off the bat? I get where you're coming from, and I get where you're coming from. I don't think we need this much backstory about the last episode of season four. No, not, not really. There's too much there shouldn't have been. Because, <clears throat> like... We got a little bit of a background story of the new hero number one. Endeavor? Yeah. You should know his name by now. Five years. What the fuck? Uh, I'm not going to know. Endeavor. <coughs> Some bitch. It's like we got a little bit of a background on him. Uh, you know, he finally said he was sorry. Son, don't give a fuck. <laughs> Basically, he's like, I'll take your apology, but I still don't forgive you of everything you did, especially to mom. And then... Uh, oh, yeah, she's in a loony bin. Well, yeah. And then uh, we get to see a little bit more about uh, Deku and the whole dream thing that he had. Yeah. So... A little bit more. It, honestly, that's the backstory I wanted to see of, the, of his power of one for all. And like everyone that's had it. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I know... Well, all for one had a little brother, and that little brother turned out to be the first ever one for one for all. Yeah. <coughs> Wait. Yeah, it's one for all. I, I keep getting... <laughs> I get them mixed up, because one's one for all, and the other one's all for one. It's just, it, Jesus it's Christ. It's just flip flop. We both knew that, just hearing those names, they were going to be connected somehow. Well, and yeah, that, and that was the answer. Now right we there. got the background story to it. So is it sad just because of the uh, the motto, um, one for all and one all for one? I'm just thinking of the Three Musketeers candy bar. And I'm just waiting for a third brother. That's just you. I don't know where the fuck you're getting this. Well, fuck. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking of. But yeah, well, yeah, too bad. It's just you. I'm just happy I got to see more of Dobby. <laughs> Dobby's my favorite League of Villain character. He's awesome. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Actually, I don't know if you knew this. They actually did a volume for the uh, villains. Did they? Yeah. What do you mean? The volume? statues. Oh. Like, oh. I'm doing the volumes of the heroes, but I they actually did one a little different. different. I thought you were talking about, like, an extra episode or something, but... Yeah. Right. There you go uh, again, not adding context to what the <laughs> fuck you're saying. You, you, you we're assume, talking about My Hero Academia. <laughs> yeah, but you're you're just saying volume inside. You're putting a statue and like, who the fuck is going to know what the fuck you're talking about? <laughs> volume, you can say, you know, volume of figurines. You just say volume. <laughs> but because, volume wild, damn it. because volume has different meanings, man. I was thinking of a show or chapter. I'm not him, him on that. Since uh, since I've kind of gotten you into Pops now, there are different volumes. Speaking of Pops, you got your new one. I did. Yeah. And every time I kept looking at it, I kept noticing even more and more, and I was just like, damn it. If uh, if my Pop guy's still watching, I think he'll be jealous of that. Probably. Probably. I don't fucking know. I hate it as a bobblehead. There's there's Pops out there as a bobblehead. I still hate that. I, I hate that. You stop. <coughs> But back to My Hero Academia, what do you think the very end is when his power kind of showed up on his hand? His power. 
That goose? Yeah. Oh, when, when like he he asked him if he will fully take one for all or something. Well, like in his dream he was like, "You've so only reached twenty percent." I was hoping to show you all. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's like everything shatters, and then it's just like the that red was, light. That just that just connected to what was the sneak peek of season finale of season four. Yeah. That's just what it connected it to. Because that okay. we've, we've already seen, seen that scene. We just didn't get the context of it, and now we just did. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so now, from the looks of it, he's part. He's now. This is gonna be the season where he's gonna start learning more about uh, one for all and all the past uh, success, uh, predecessors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. And um, what was the other thing? Um. Yes. About Hawks being a freaking secret agent for the hero. You were quick to jump on him. I was because it was in context. Yeah, I thought he so was. I thought he was when, <laughs> when we were watching this, and then immediately Hawks was talking to Dobby. You were like, "You son of a bitch! I'll get the fucking whip." Well, dick. can you blame me without fucking context? I don't. <sighs> Before literally the next scene, where he explains why he's talking to Dobby, you're like, "Yeah, go to the shame corner." Man, no, fuck you. <laughs> I have my reasons. <laughs> Damn, it's, it's like you took that one personally. Or would you? Nah, I don't. I don't give a fuck about Hawks. Or well, if he did, though. If I did, I don't blame him. Yeah, but damn, that was quick. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's much else. Like it. There no, was this one was just like getting a little bit of a, like a backstory in of the Endivor and uh, Deku. Yeah. Endivor. Endivor. Sorry. Endeavor. Endeavor. Oh Fire. You know what? Shitty father. I'll call him that until he proves himself. Fine, whatever. Fire fist. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic Four flame oh on. I'm going to get this fucking copyrighted. Oh, my God. Oh, <coughs> uh, man. That's, uh... What? Shit, wait. Is there... Is there Digimon? Yeah, there was Digimon. Oh, me too. I forgot to watch that. Uh, this one was just another filler, but it was, uh, Matt and TK, uh, kind of like special episode on this one. Yeah. Um. We got an amusement park. Yeah. Woo! Kind of got a little bit of a backstory on them, and kind of like, uh, a flashback of a memory of them being at the, uh, amusement park before their parents split, and they got separated. <clears throat> and then, of course, it, evil did you? Honestly, the only thing you need to know about this is that you know, through their struggle, through their struggles, and through memories, um, t- um, TK's TK's Digimon uh, reverted back to his Ang- um, Angimon, mm. was like the angel, basically, because of the power of hope. Yes, power of. And friendship, of course. You, you're forgetting friendship. I, you can never forget friendship. Holy shit, that's, that's like forgetting love. love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm a firm believer of violence and explosions. That's all you're a firm believer of. Yep, that's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did like how um, this kept. Um, even though this was already established like way in the very beginning of this franchise, and <clears> since we just watched the um, that movie uh, movies, yeah, this this all this already established um, Matt's uh, fear of ghosts because he had to go through a haunted house and shit. He's like, man, I have to go through here this shit. <laughs> and we kind of got a little bit of a tease about that when they're on the uh, Ferris wheel too, so mm. which was funny. All right. Anything else that or no? That was okay, really about it on this because I mean I do, do we really need to talk about the fucking villain? No, it was he, just he a was giant a, teddy bear. He was a trickster, like he was the master of the amusement part. His whole gripe was he was a whole master of the amusement part. He pro- he had a friendly face, oh come join my park and then even though uh uh-huh, it's a trap, I'm gonna put you on my monster bear's stomach. Okay. And that's how the the like 
the monster bear, um, he gained power just from sucking Digimon inside him. Yes, I know how it sounds, but it is. Demonetized. I know how it sounds, but it is. Age restricted. It is exactly how it sounds like, though. It is exactly how it sounds like. Oh, man. And then while they're inside of him, he fed off their energy. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, We're not making this shit up. It is exactly how it sounds like. We cannot make this shit up. Holy shit. We are fucking age restricted like a motherfucker now. At least on this one episode. This one episode, absolutely. Jesus Christ. Um, is that it for you guys or not? Yeah, this yeah. one was just a real... I feel like these next few episodes are just these fillers. <laughs> we're just going to kind of get, like, special episodes for you, like, each individual character and stuff like that. Mm. Until, like, something actually happens to the point to where we actually get back on track. It'll probably, it'll probably have to be something related to Millennium, Millennium Mom again. Yeah. Since he's the next baddie. I, yeah, I think he's going to be, like, the next baddie before we actually get back to, like, the original evil person. Okay. Is that all the anime? Nope. Yeah. Dragon yeah. Titan. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. The whole reason why we wanted fucking <laughs> Titan in the title. I was like, yeah, let's have Titan in the title. Oh, shit. Dumb bitch. The last episode of part one is over. Uh, yes, it is. I love the memes of people getting angry because I'm I'm with the people. Fuck this first part. It is awful. It it is pointless bullshit. So you're saying the entire first part? It's it, it started off strong with the war, but then it just became constant fucking talking and talking backstory, backstory or seen from a different point of view. And it was I will admit it was a little annoying about this whole backstabbing is like shoot, choosing sides. Yeah. That was that was a little annoying. Especially the one with the peak. It's like, oh, I'm on your side. Oh, ha bitch. I don't like those people, but I'll stop with the army instead. Like, okay, cool. You still made no difference. The only thing out of this whole season that grasped me was Sasha's death. And the the one Eldarian that uh, that loved her. That's it. And it's just like, okay, the rest of this part one was just awful to me. Um, But, come on. It, was, it couldn't have been bad. Oh, fuck. Really? I don't like this first part. The the intro, everyone's saying it. What about the armor titan? Did you not get excited from that shit? I no. Excited. Okay, how about armor's colossal titan? That shit was shit. What's the shit? It was the same amount of screen time as fucking Reiner had with this titan. But still. Big go boom. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> it's exactly what it is. The only thing special about this episode, to tell you the truth, is is Levi dead? We don't fucking know. I'm going to say no. But oh, she's not fucking dead. Yeah. No. Yeah, but like, eh, that's all it is. I don't like the intro. The intro's weak as shit. Oh, nobody likes the fucking intro. Uh, there's, there's constant shit of like I'm seeing of like, okay, when the intro first came up, they're like, what the fuck's this shit? And then everyone's Compared just to the other doing, ones? Yeah, no, this the, one. The other ones are just like shit I can listen to constantly. I, I actually looked up the full song of of uh, part one's intro, I'm like, this is fucking worse. Jesus Christ, this is awful. But I'll just again, in their defense of the studio Mappa, you know they were handed this season pretty late, and they were rushed to do this. So they were their, rushed. I still don't like what they did to my girl Mikasa. Uh uh-uh. uh. Well, that's that's fine. still manga. Like this, that was the creator of manga still a decision. Like that's yeah. again, that's still not entirely their fault. I know. I know, and it's just like, and people, I'm not siding with the people who's like, let's judge people for Mikasa's body. No, I'm, I'm judging on Sir Mikasa. That's what I'm judging on. It's like, no, she's waifu, and you're, you're crushing it. No, thank you. I needed that. <laughs> Can I have a hug? No, no. Come here, baby no. girl. No. <laughs> I'll, I'll hug you instead. Can I please send my hand back? No, I'm gonna use it for dirty things. <laughs> um, I'm sorry your waifu was screwed out of waifu material. Yeah, now. not the kind of screwing I like. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, fuck, we're always monetized. I might as well enjoy it. <laughs> the one episode that's going to be for 18 plus. Yep, enjoy. <laughs> Hasn't that been all our episodes? No. no. Uh, Are you sure? There, know, other than the cussing, no. The, the cussing will just make it demonetized, but we're age-restricted just this episode. I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> um, because of the, some of the contents that we've used 
Yeah. Yeah, but because of language, come on. Fuck him. <laughs> I'm so tired of hearing, oh, language so bad. No. Fuck him. <laughs> you could suck a right nut. Welcome to our channel that where we don't give a fuck. You get personal opinions and not giving two fucks. You're offended? Get the fuck out. Yeah. Um, uh, I, honestly, I'm just ready to see the war. And next year, in winter, right? Yeah, the end of this year and the beginning of next year of winter. Yeah. The and only thing that really caught me out of this whole episode was being at the castle and then the jaw tying coming out of the ground. Yeah. That was really the only thing that got me. At that point, after before that and after that point, it was just like, okay. I have loved the uh, the memes. I, I've already told you guys about it with the uh, the Aaron turning the Titan and both Aaron and Reiner fucking having deadlock eyes at each other and then goes on to two week continue and the guy just starts crying like, yeah, yeah, two week continue. But it fits so well. It, yes, that was my reaction when I saw it. I was like, you son of a bitch, I gotta wait a fucking year for this practically? Yes. I wait five years for season two. I'm not patient anymore. Was it really that long? Yeah, it was. We waited five years for season two. Oh my god. Shit, that's right. It was like, what's taking forever? Oh my god. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. We got what? Still like waiting on eight high school to do. Yeah, which will never happen. So we're gonna shut up. I can still dream, dude. I'm waiting with you. Like I want that anime to be finished, but no. <clears throat> like I want uh, Dead Man's Wonderland to come back too. That was a really good anime. Well, I probably vague, the virus. I vaguely back. remember that one. Time to recap. Later. Yeah, later. <laughs> not on the show. We do not have time. We, we already <laughs> cut an hour, and we're going to have to cut probably a 20-minute extra because we still got news, and then the movie. <sighs> really? Okay, so I want to say the movie for last. Really, the only news I have is the Space Jam trailer came out. And has a release date, July 16th. Yes. Other than that, uh, started playing Monster Hunter. It's actually really fun. Fuck face. <laughs> he's just mad because and I agree with him Like he, he knows my story and it's bullshit I don't know your story okay so I'm going to tell this and I'm going to fuck what happens <laughs> fuck you GameStop I put a, a down on for like the $5 for GameStop for the uh, Monster Hunter edition so I told him I wasn't planning on paying this off till practically a week or two before and they were like okay they cancelled my fucking pre-order and they said, you know what? Here's five dollars in GameStop credit. What the flying fuck am I going to do with that? Jerk off with it? Fuck you guys! I give me my edition. And then they said, literally, come on uh, the day of release. We'll have some up that we had to have on show. And I was like, okay. I showed up. I was like the eighth person in line because I, I didn't want to seem too desperate. Because fuck it, I was desperate. I went up there. I saw the twelve boxes up there. And take in mind, they also had. Others of your, not, well, technically the Switch, up on the shelves, along with the games ready to buy. I said, okay, and it was the same dude I talked to that told me that they canceled my order. I said, okay, I'm here, just like what you said last week. Can I please get the Monster Hunter Deluxe Edition? They said, well, you can't sell them because they have to be up on display. I'm like, you, f- okay, then give me a regular one. We have to have them up for display. We can't take them out of the box to sell you. So you wasted my fucking day twice up in here, and you took five dollars from me. I don't get. I still don't get that. You're you're missing an opportunity for a customer who is willing to give you the money right now for your product, and you're not gonna sell it to him. Yeah. Like that's just that's just saying somebody is like that's just like telling somebody is like, um, oh, uh, we don't have the food you're looking for, but I mean, I'm sure you like you know you like to see our options that we you like to probably eat. Yeah. Let's tell you the fucking same thing. And then I, and then <laughs> I gotta fucking say on here because the people are gonna say, "Why don't you try other stores?" <laughs> I called five <laughs> or six different targets. Same thing, Walmart. Same thing. I tried like special stores around our area. I won't say what the fuck it is. They all said we're all out. Try this day. I tried this day. I still won't get it. My option now is wait a year for it to come on PC. So, fuck GameStop. Fuck you. Glad you're going under. Fuckers. 
Okay, well, to the news. That's why you're fucking. That was the news. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I got other shit, but um, Black Widow got a trailer today. Also July. Yep, July 9th. Um, Back for Blood, which is based with Left 4 Dead 3, has been delayed <gasps> to How long? October 12th oh my God. of this year. Oh God. That's fine. That's fine. No, it's not fine. 20 Dead <laughs> Games been delayed. I know it's for the best, best but still. Ugh. It's yeah. still coming out this year, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, Halo's new season, which I will fucking, I don't know how dedicated I'll be here next week. Cause Here's a random one. Uh, Venom 2 got delayed a week. Did it? Yeah. It's not too bad. It's not yeah, bad. It's just, it's just, it's still it's random. It's no bullshit. It's still it, random. It's random, yeah, <laughs> but it's just like, that's not too bad. Yeah. Um, Sora Online announced they're going to have a single episode for a prequel for a prequel. So, like, you know how the movie is basically a prequel? Yeah. Is that still about the Austin awesome, thing? Mm-hmm. They're going to have a, a single episode, no clear release date when they're going to do it, but it's a prequel to the movie. About which movie? The the, the <coughs> movie about Asuna. Asuna's side of Ace, uh, SOA. Yeah. Yeah. So this prequel episode is going to be all about Kirito involving that one month of the transaction from the first episode to the second episode. Because you remember they skipped a month. Yes. That's what this episode is. It's supposed to like set like something big for the next season of SAO, and it's also supposed to involve the movie in a way. Wasn't the second episode? Of the original, where he met up with that first group and he got them all killed. No. Or am I thinking wrong? You're thinking wrong. Then was it about? It wasn't about the first boss level. Or no. was it? No, no, it was. Yeah, it was. It was yeah. It was, so it was about the first boss boss level. Yeah. Okay. Because the second. So it was before that. Boss, no. It was before that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's set in between one and two. Yes. That big gap there. Yeah. Um, but that's all it is. We have no date. We only have a trailer where they showed off Kirito and fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. That little motherfucker. <laughs> hate that asshole. <laughs> Fuck, I hate that bitch. But showed off him and all the talking. And, like, and for some weird reason, everyone is like taking notes on this. But like in the trailer, they name off random episodes of season one, two. I don't know what to call Underworld because... Underworld's technically season three, but it's like 48 episodes, but like of both Alization and War of the Underworld, and it took like certain episodes. That everyone's like, these got to be key moments. I think they're just arcs over season. Yeah. So they got the first arc and now the second arc. Well, people are speculating on that, but we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see what the uh, the actual people say. But the only thing about <laughs> it is the episode's called um, the prequel beginning, which I think that's a shitty name. They're going to have to rename that. But I would say watch the trailer. Um, yeah, that's it for me. Yeah, the, other than the Space Jam trailer coming out, there wasn't really much this week that I saw. Better put your socks on because they're going to get knocked off. <laughs> I got nothing. Thank All God. right, well, to the movie. This week was Godzilla vs. Kong. Fuck yes. Monkey got fucked. He did. <laughs> I was rooting for Godzilla and I'm happy. The only, I will say my so only thing I don't like about we it. We can safely say Godzilla won, right? No, right he already, did won. But overall, the battle between them. Yeah, he won because yeah. like. Both battles between the one in the ocean, Godzilla won against that one. And then in the city, Godzilla won against that one. No surprise because he's stronger. Well, Kong could have got up and kept fighting, but he was like... Fuck Kong. Godzilla had his foot on him, and he's like... No. He did a lot of smiling in, in his fights, and I was like, yeah. yeah. John was king. Your name's King fucking what, bitch? <laughs> that caught me off guard. I fucking smirk when he hit him in the back with his fucking uh, atomic venom. I'm like, what the fuck? Is he smirking? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I threw a buddy off when... Uh, that annoying fat guy was the guy from Deadpool. <laughs> really? I know that. What? Yeah. I ought to slap him now. I will say I that that group, that three man group, I fucking hated them. Oh, uh, see, what the fuck did they accomplish the entire besides being besides pissed off one buddy? Because like when we were watching well, that, one of our buddies was like, 
you should be splattered against the wall during the whole trip to America <laughs> to Hong Kong. Something. Uh, I was gonna piss off about the guard. Honestly, the, I was gonna say like their own, their only purpose in the movie was being the comedic relief, and not most of it was even funny anyway. No. But like, what the fuck did they accomplish? Like, what? Nothing. The, what the what the fuck was their purpose in the entire movie? They did the besides shitty that one part towards the end for Mike and Godzilla in the tail. That and that's such a shitty thing. Fucking. Oh, let me pour alcohol on top of a fucking computer. Okay. Like I don't. Like, you claim you're the biggest hacker and this is what you do? Fucking pour gin on it? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I bet you the movie would have been just fine if you just took out all their scenes. Yes. And I'm not saying that because I hate that fucking girl because she was annoying in the last Godzilla movie. Fuck, I wanted her to die. I was rooting for her to die this entire movie. I was like, kill her. Kill her. End her life now. Please. She, I hated her. I hate her now. I, her scenes were the only ones I hated. And he's not lying. Fuck, she should die. <sighs> but you guys hated the uh, the CEO chick, right? She was Someone just hated annoying. Oh, well, we her. all hated her. She was just annoying. <laughs> I didn't hate her as much as the, the one girl that shouldn't have died, but she didn't fucking die. Some bitch. Sorry. <clears throat> Uh, she like the CEO daughter was. She was pretty annoying because it was always about her and this that, and the other. Her dying kind of threw me off. I thought just because she was a bitch, she was just going to live and learn the power of Kong. But I was fucking wrong. No, I was happy when she died because I was like, thank God. <laughs> Which one was your favorite fight of all of them? Oh shit! This <laughs> yeah. The end oh, fight. Shit. The end fight for you? The end fight with Godzilla and Kong teaming up against Mega Godzilla. Fuck. Because I thought that was really cool. Because, like, Kong was fighting with the axe, and he's like, Godzilla was like, oh, wait, let me do this. I I would say for me, the Tokyo fight. And, and the only reason I'm saying is Hong the Kong. one scene. Yeah, Hong Kong. Where, like, he, he bit the fucking axe out of his leg and ripped it out. I was like, get this shit off of me. <laughs> so round two. Yeah. That yeah. I like I like that shit. I'm happy Godzilla won. The what, true king. What did you think when they went into the center of the earth? Uh was not expecting it to be the way it was. Yeah. It's very empty, in my opinion. For a world full of giant monsters. I kind of expected more. I mean, they showed off some creatures. They, they did, absolutely. But, but like, I, I kind of agree with more. him. I was expecting a little bit more to for it to be like a world full of titans. I wasn't expecting more Godzilla's kinds, but like I was kind of hoping for, for like, like others, other races, basically. Because like we got to see the flying kinds, they were really cool well, for the short time. When you think gone. about it, hold on. When you think about it, most of the titans in the first place, they were mostly all because of man man made weapons and shit and accidents. Mm-hmm. So, like, who's to say that they all came from that plane of existence? Well, see, that's the thing we don't know. Uh, we it is it is implied that Kong's Kong's um, and family was from that plane of existence. Yeah. and we kind of got that with that temple, mm-hmm. temple. Yeah, but like you know, with something like Godzilla, like, you know, he's he's a creation of like war and the nukes and the nuclear uh, nuclear waste and shit. Yeah. So like it, it's really like even. It could it could have been in a planet of a uh, world of of just titans, but I wasn't really expecting more. I was just kind of. I was expecting more. other like weekly so like other creatures. Yeah, a little bit more than just like the flying snakes because mm-hmm. that's what they looked like. Basically, I mean their their fight was kind of short, but it was still kind of cool. But yeah, it w- it was good for a monster movie. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'm happy. What's what's next week's movie that we're doing? The next one's going to be... Uh, well, not next week. Not next week, but the next movie will be Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of expecting you to dress up for that, to tell you the truth. Like, I'm going to show up here, and Ghost is going to tell me. He, he's already fucking yelling, get over here. <laughs> um, I did watch Scoob. Oh really? And um, Ninja Batman. Well, 
was the, the Ninja Batman at the end of one with the whole samurai thing? Yeah. Okay. First uh, first thing with Scoob, um, it was fine. Not great. Not like the originals. I just, Is I just, it better than Tom and Jerry? That's kind of why I want to know. Yes. Okay. I will I will say yes to that. that that's really all I cared about. But I, I did grow up on those two honestly, shows. Honestly, what kept throwing me off, and you know, it was never funny in the first place, about about the some of the jokes and uh, real life jokes like you know Netflix joke or Tinder joke. I'm like, they went too close to. Yeah, I hate it when they fucking do that. I fucking hate it. And then the one with the Simon Cowell the, from America's Got Talent, that fucking British guy. <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, Scooby Doo can't really make it in today's kids like how we grew up with it. Yeah, but still, like it, it, it gets it it takes me off of the immersion of. Even though it's supposed to be... Isn't it supposed to be like a prequel? Like Young Scoop? Or am I thinking wrong? No, I think... There's been many... There's been many origin stories about their friendship and Scoop. Ah. This is just a brand new one. Okay. Yeah. With new actors, except for Scoop, who was the same actor. Mm. Okay. It was... It wasn't really that... It was still better than Tom and Jerry. It wasn't... Uh, so most of the funny jokes for me was was the villain um, Dick Dastardly. He was probably my favorite character. <laughs> the entire movie. Okay, but I know you'll hate the Blue Falcon character. You'll hate him. Uh, I'm I'm sure I will. He's probably he's he's the definition of fucking like Pain in the ass. Twitch streamer. No. Oh, oh. <sighs> if you know anything about Twitch streamers, he's like the perfect example of that. All I can think of now is like the two main villains from Borderlands Three. When you say that, and how annoying. Yeah, that's pretty world. close. In terms of behavior and character. Fuck. It's okay. It was okay. I mean, I'm not saying it, Twitch streamers are edgy, annoying. It's just how media plays them out. It's fucking stupid. Yeah. Uh, you know, if we, really like this is a movie like if you are a really good fan of Scooby Doo and the whole franchise, like go ahead and watch it. You're not gonna kill yourself if you don't. If you don't. If you're not gonna kill yourself if you do watch it. Uh, Ninja, <laughs> Ninja Batman. Let me ask you on this on Ninja Batman because I've watched both versions. Which which one did you watch in English or Japanese? Because like this film only had English Japanese. for whatever reason. Really? Yeah. Okay. I was actually I have seen a clip about Japanese boys, and then when I tried change, I'm like, it only. Sort of, English being the original, I guess English was original. No, Japanese is. So it, it was Japanese. Okay. So when it, on HBO Max, like English original, I'm like English is original. No, that doesn't even sound right. But I, there was no Japanese setting. Yeah, I, I can confirm. Um, Batman. So it was Ninja Japanese was first. Japanese first. But okay. The only thing about it is like I, I had a feeling it was Japanese first just because of the lip syncing. Yeah, that, that's, that's the main thing. Is like it did come out at the same time on English and Japanese at the exact moment. But because it was made in Japan and handled in Japan, it's mostly a Japanese oh, movie. Oh, I know it was handled in Japan. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty good. I did like it. Um, I just I just like the 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 a lot of usage of you know anime and anime cliches. Mm-hmm. And the <laughs> 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 what that really. I'm like, all right, th- at this point, this is just normal anime. It's when they fucking form the Megazord kind of type robot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know what you're talking about. I'm yeah. like, oh, that's great. That's great. Or how all the monkeys and the bats started coming together. And it was animated Batman. I'm like, oh, my God, look at that shit. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Yep. Uh, it was good. It was really good. Um... Joker's voice in English wasn't bad either, though. Did you watch it in Japanese? I watched them both. Which one do you prefer? Um, fuck. That's a hard one, honestly. The the rooftop fighting scene, I feel like that's better in Japanese, to tell you the truth. I have seen that in Japanese. I can agree to that. Um, But the rest of the movie, I would say in English, kind of. Like, there is a few lip syncing you have to get past, but, like... The, a lot of the voice acting in English is good. It's just definitely you you can tell the difference on the rooftop fighting scene when they're talking. Yeah, no. I can definitely tell. Because I have seen it first on Japanese as a clip. I'm like, man, this is really cool. Yeah. My one gripe with it, if I had to think of one mm-hmm. and I know 
I know this is how Catwoman is, but like you know the double crashing and all that. I know that's how she is, but like I don't know, it just gets annoying. That's just how she is. Always a double crosser. Yeah, that that's basically her whole character. I know that's her whole character, but it's just like, I'm like why, like why? Like, can <laughs> can it just be like this one time? You just stick to one fucking side because you know you're gonna get fucked from the other side anyway. Well, technically, Catwoman's Batman's wife in the comics. Well, yeah, but like still, at the end of the day. At the end of the day, for the longest part, she was a traitorous person, but. Eh. Yeah, it's not really anything new there, though. Okay, I gotta say, uh, from the four Robins, Little Robin, is that Damien? Yes. Okay. They had Nightwing, Red Hood. He seemed, he seemed uh, way Red too. Robin. He seemed way too peppy for me. Yeah. In this one, yeah. <laughs> In this one, absolutely. Like he seemed like way too energetic and peppy. I'm like, are we sure this is Damien? Dude, <laughs> to be fair, I get your concern with that, but technically, there's like five Robins, but nobody counts the female Robin because she's not really canon. But like, oh, so what sense. is Red is Red Robin Tim Drake? Yes. Okay. Yes. He was the uh, Robins go. Uh, Dick Grayson's Nightwing. Oh, Jason yeah. Todd is Red Hood. Um, Red Hood still being Red Hood. Jason. He never not changes. Jason. Um, Tim is Red Robin, and then Robin just never fucking amounts something. He always dies when he's Robin. I like Red Hood always being Red Hood. Nothing yeah. ever changes for it. That mask is kind of weird, though. I, I know it's like of that era, but like, I don't know. It seemed a little... The weird. basket deal? Yeah. Yeah. It seemed a little weird, even for him. Yeah. I couldn't... I, it was, I kept getting distracted. I'm like, my fucker, that's long. <laughs> I did like the, um, that change of art style when he did meet up with um, Joker and Harley. Yeah. That, like, uh, frame by frame, the kind of art style they did. I'm like, I, oh. I will agree with you on this. It, even though I'm watching Demon Hunter, I... Well, Demon Slayer... I do kind of wish they took the uh, the old guy. I cannot remember his name. The one with the long red nose mask. I wish they gave him that mask for uh, Red Hood. <laughs> <laughs> or something similar to it. Yeah. That would have made more sense, to be honest. Yeah, but because Demon Slayer did come out after that ni- Batman Ninja. Or Ninja Batman, whatever. I can't fucking think on top of my head. So. Yeah, well, it's just like with the Batman Ninja. Like, I feel like with the basket, they went a little bit more to the, like, the Afro Samurai style. Yeah. Has I gotta say this before we end this. Um, has that that Batman's voice has it ever been used before? I feel like I've heard it before. Wasn't he like one of the original Batmans from one of the? No, I, I did look him up in the end. He was a uh, Roger Craig Smith. And I get the feeling I can't put it in my top of my head if he's been used before somewhere. Shit. Uh, the best thing to do is go. Three minutes. I know Roger. IMDb. The thing is, though, because I know Roger as the voice of Sonic. Like, he's the voice yeah. of Sonic. And he just retired as that voice, so... Roger what? Craig Smith. Like, I can't put it if that he's been voicing him before this that movie. Uh, did I recognize you? Harley. Of course, Harley will always be Harley. Yeah. That wasn't... That was really... That was probably the only recognizable one. Um, do, 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 let's see here. Oh, uh, I I did have another gripe. Um, the one with Bane, he just shows up and he he was done. Mm-hmm. Like he was like not shown again. Yeah, he was really like, well, shorted. Like, what the fuck was that about? Holy shit, he was in a couple Batman stuff. Oh, okay. He was in Batman Unlimited Animal Instincts. Mm. Batman Unlimited Monster Mayhem. So he's been doing here for a while. Okay. Batman Unlimited, Mechs versus Mutants. Uh, I don't remember that one. Been a couple of Assassin's Creed stuff. He did he do the movie. one with Ninja Turtles? I feel like he did. He did a couple of the cartoons as I was looking at his... No, the one uh, with the movie, the last one with the Ninja Turtles. I know which one you're talking about. I don't see it. No. The last one. The, the things he's in that's most common that we've seen is Powerpuff Girls, Ben 10... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, as a as an actor? As an actor, yeah. Oh well, yeah, no, he's he's old. He's done a yeah. lot of shit. I just I just trying to I was trying to figure out if he's done more Batman than just this movie. Okay. Did uh he apparently did like some Spanish version of Batman Unlimited, but I can't pull up the name of it. Oh, he was in Superman Red Sun, which is still a Batman movie. It's just Batman versus Superman. Yeah. 
Is it not, is that the one with like the Russian Superman? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff I've seen actually I never knew. Yeah, like the Ninja Turtle one, I think it was the last cartoon one that he was in. Because I did see the, a Ninja Turtle thing about him. I just don't remember which one it was. You don't have to get too deep for me. I, mean, I, just, yeah, wanted, well, I just wanted to know. Well, I, I like to over. <sighs> but yeah, for me, the gripe was the, the cover on his name, but I'm just saying, and then the bang. It just yeah. seems so He normal. was a little short. And then, like, <laughs> never used again. It's like, okay. Yeah. He wasn't... <laughs> he wasn't even shown as well as the captured ones of the of the, of the the end panels. I mean, Bane's not really that hard. Yeah, but still. Like, it was the, like... Like, did his character matter at all, is what I'm saying. Uh, essentially, Bane's just a fucking crackhead. Take away his venom, and he's he just like, please he's basically give nothing. me more. Yeah. yeah. So... Um, but yeah, we're 20, 21 minutes over. Um, yeah, that's about normal. Yeah, it is normal. Uh, we'll be here next week. Hopefully we'll have a different title. <laughs> uh, as always, I'm Weekly's Death. I'm Lyanna. I'm Ghostblade. And, uh, like, follow, subscribe, follow the channel on Facebook, on YouTube, GLW Perimeter. And as always, see y'all next week. Stay nerdy.